The Tony Hawk series had a pretty interesting cast of secret skaters throughout the years. The only true crime was the fact that Ollie wasn't a playable character. Look at him. He's ready. Starting off with Pro Skater 2, Marvel's Spider-Man was a playable skater. A lot of us were hoping and praying that Spider-Man would make a return in the 1 and 2 remake, but obviously that didn't happen, presumably due to licensing issues. Pro Skater 3 gave us Darth Maul from Star Wars and Wolverine from the X-Men. Personally, I spent many hours playing as Darth Maul when I was a kid. Now, if you had the PC version of Pro Skater 3, you could also play as Doom Guy, which was really awesome. In Pro Skater 4, we had yet another Star Wars character. This was Jango Fett from Episode 2. For my fellow Iron Maiden fans out there, Eddie was also a playable skater. Also in the same game, you unlocked a character called Daisy, which was actually played by actress Jenna Jameson. Neversoft and Activision must have had a really good relationship with Marvel at the time because Iron Man was also playable in Tony Hawk's Underground. Tony Hawk's Underground also had a lot of KISS content. Gene Simmons was an unlockable skater. You could also unlock the rest of the members of KISS if you managed to find every single gap in all the levels. The Alive 4 versions of Rock and Roll All Night, Lick It Up, and God of Thunder were in the soundtrack. And there was also a level called Hotter Than Hell, which was literally a KISS concert in the desert. You were also able to unlock a live video of the band playing God of Thunder. Tony Hawk's Underground 2 arguably gave us the best secret character in all of gaming history, Shrek himself. You could also play as a Call of Duty soldier, which should kind of signify just how old the Call of Duty franchise is. For those of y'all that have played True Crime Streets of Los Angeles, Nick was a playable skater in Underground 2 as well, but I believe he was exclusive to the PC version of the game. I've never played True Crime, unfortunately, but apparently this is actually Nick's beta model. In Tony Hawk's American Wasteland, you could play as the King of Crunk himself, Lil Jon. Which I always thought was kind of ironic because there's not a single Lil Jon song on the soundtrack. I assume it's because they wanted to mostly keep it Los Angeles based. You could also play as Billy Joe Armstrong of Green Day. Blink-182's Travis Barker was playable in Tony Hawk's Project 8. You could also play as the Grim Ripper from Guitar Hero. Judy Nails from Guitar Hero 3 was also playable in Tony Hawk's Proving Ground, but unfortunately there was no free skate in this game so you could only play as her in the arcade challenges or whatever they were called. I'm pretty sure Tony Hawk, Riot, and Shred had some secret characters too, but nobody really knows what they are nor do they know how to unlock them because nobody played those games. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater HD allowed you to play as both James Hetfield and Robert Trujillo of Metallica, which was awesome. Too bad the game was terrible. In Pro Skater 5, you could play as Lil Wayne, Tyler the Creator, and the entirety of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so they kind of beat Session to the punch on that one. And finally, in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, you could play as Officer Dick, which was played by none other than Jack Black. 